Next, we take you to Milwaukee, Wisconsin for a sentencing. 21-year-old Eamon Washington has pled guilty to second-degree reckless homicide and second-degree reckless injury. A year earlier, Washington, who had a suspended license, was racing his friend Kevin Hightire while on the way to an ATM to get cash. The two cars were speeding, weaving in and out of traffic, when Washington crashed into another vehicle, killing seven-year-old London Kaysen. London was riding with her mother, who was also seriously injured in the crash. According to investigators, Washington was driving 107 miles an hour, just seconds before the crash in a 40 mile an hour speed zone. Washington and Hightire both left the scene of the accident, but were arrested a week later. Washington was initially charged with several felonies, including hit and run, but he took a deal and pled guilty to two of the more serious charges, second degree reckless homicide and second degree reckless injury. Today at sentencing, Washington appears before Judge Glenn Yamahiro to hear his punishment. The maximum he could receive is 27 and a half years in prison. But first, Washington, who's been in custody for almost a year, makes a statement to the court. I am very sorry for the accidents that I did in part of this accident. I'm sorry for speeding down the street. I was just trying to have fun with my friend at the time. I never intended to hurt nobody. I never intended to hurt that little girl. The first thought that crossed my mind was turning myself in, making sure that that family get justice. And I still want to see me get justice today, so. I, I don't, I honestly don't know what to say. I can't argue with the fact that they wish to see me get the maximum time, I, I agree. I can't be mad at them. I just hope that they can eventually come and forgive me so I can forgive myself, you know? But until then, I'm just sorry. When Washington is finished, the judge has a statement of his own. If there are many things in this life worse than having to bury your own child, I'm not sure what they are. There are no winners here, everyone's losing. I'm not here to judge him, I'm here to judge what happened, what needs to be done. Young men in particular have been driving fast since cars were invented. People are trying to demonstrate their manliness, you can call it whatever you like. And people in their late teens, early 20s, uh, like yourself, frequently do not consider the consequences of their actions. I am not concluding that you had zero remorse here. I don't find this a situation where you're beyond rehabilitation, but this was a completely avoidable situation. Cars can kill people. It's not a video game. And far I'm concerned, in this community, it's a number two weapon at this time. So with the exception of firearms, this is it. When he's done, the judge issues his sentence. 12 years in a state prison with credit for time served, plus six years of extended supervision. As for Hightire, Washington's friend who was speeding in the other vehicle, he was sentenced to three years probation. London's mother continues to recover from her injuries. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.